Hello, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for everyone to get the notification that I'm live, which you can actually turn on the live notifications up in your right hand corner. You'll see three little dots and you can turn on live notifications that way you don't miss out on any of my future lives. I keep thinking I have lipstick in my teeth. Um, but if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Rhea Coleman or Rhea Hope here on social media. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, all of the places if you just search Rhea Hope. So if you love makeup tutorials, um, hair tutorials, fashion hauls, all the things, make sure you're following me on all of those platforms. But I washed my hair this morning. It's a little bit dried, but I'm going to style it with you guys. I threw my makeup on before this. I didn't go live, but typically I would. Um, but this is kind of like my go-to, my favorite kind of makeup combo. I have done this look live before. And if you want to see all of my live makeup tutorials, they're all saved here on Facebook and my YouTube channel, which again, if you search Rhea Hope, you can find those. Um, so if you need any recommendation on hair products, makeup, skincare, you name it, just private message me. I'd be so happy to help you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started before my hair dries any faster. Um, so I swear my hair dries so quickly because of the products that I use when I get out of the shower. Um, I use the Benage Hydrating Mist and the Thicket Cream, which both help your hair to dry even faster, as well as the Posh Hair Polish. So I'm going to use this with my hair style dry, but I also use this on my hair when it's wet when I get out of the shower, which helps to dry it even faster. So I have this on my hair already, as well as the Menage Hydrating Mist, um, but that's about it. So before I blow dry my hair, I always, when it's wet, I'm obsessed with this volumizing mousse. All my girls out there who have thin, fine hair, this right here is what you need. It's so, so good. And what's really cool about it too is normally volumizing mousses can make your hair heavy, tacky, feel dirty again. This one does not. It is so fresh. It is so light. I have about that much in my hand. I'm going to slowly grab it with my fingers and I'm going to, as you see, kind of pinch at the root and massage in. Especially on like my, um, the parted area where I feel like it gets really flat. And then I'm going to grab my hair with whatever's left over. And then you guys look how long my hair's getting. I can almost put it in a ponytail. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to grab it and throw it through the shaft in the ends. And this will help to get that really voluminous, full hair um, rather than just kind of volume on top. So that was a volumizing whip it mousse. I'm obsessed with this product. You can actually get all of the products, all of the hair care products, 50% off with the code HC50, which is listed on the link, which I will post right here in the comments. It's also in the description of this tutorial. So you can find all of the products I'm using there. And then also, I'm so excited. I'm like so excited. Um, I got that email this morning that they are running a promotion. I do not know how long this is going for, so do not wait. The flat iron that I am obsessed with, my favorite one, the Larev, is $100 off. $100 of savings. Like not a percentage, like, oh, you're going to save 10%. No, you're going to save $100, $100. Bucks. So I'm going to get to that, but make sure you snag it before it sells out. It comes in three colors, and I'll talk more about the Lorev when we get there, but definitely snag it in the link below. Okay, so that was a volumizing mousse, which, again, I love on my damp hair. It gives you really good volume, really good um, texture to your hair. So the next product that I'm going to use is this guy. This is the Thermal Magique. I always use this before I apply any heat to my hair. I'm just going to kind of mist it all over. And this is going to act as a UV protectant, a heat protectant. Also helps to prevent the humidity from making your hair frizzy or flat. Um, so all my girls that live in Florida, found your product. <laughs> I mean, it's so humid there. It's crazy. Um, but Thermal Magique is definitely what you're gonna want to use for a humidity and a heat protectant. So love this one. And I love that there's like hardly any alcohol in it. It's packed with keratin. It's packed with soothing ingredients that help to heal your hair and protect it. So instead of just protecting it from heat and then that's all you get, you're getting a, a ton out of these products, which I love that the ingredients are packed with just they're packed with more than what their label is. You know what I mean? Like a heat protectant, typically you think like, oh, it's just protecting my hair from heat. Not with lunch. They're like getting you on all levels, um, which I love that. 
Okay, so like I said, I have this in my hair already. This is the Posh Hair Polish. This is really good um, for drying your hair quickly and healing your split ends. Um, it helps to prevent frizz. It helps to, when you're blow drying your hair, get it really sleek looking. So I applied this when I got out of the shower. I used about a pea size amount, massaged it through my fingers, and then just ran it through my really wet hair and my tail dried hair. Um, okay, so we'll get started. So I'm gonna use the Le Compact hair dryer. This is my favorite hair dryer by Lange. I obviously have very short hair, um, so I don't feel like I need like a gigantic blow dryer for this. If you have obviously really long thick hair, you'd want the sole, I believe is how you pronounce it, um, which is the bigger version of this, but the Le Compact is actually a travel blow dryer, but it's perfect it's the size of my head it's so lightweight and it has all the same features as the um the, the sole blow dryer which is the bigger version of this it comes with the detachable piece right here um comes with three settings three speeds uh, i'm sorry two speeds and two heat settings so you can use it on cool which i like to set my straight hair with that when i'm done and then i'm going to use it on the hottest setting at first to really speed up the process so we're going to turn it on the highest speed and then the highest heat setting. And I like to take the hair up off my head, which is going to help with volume. And I just kind of move down and attack the root first. turn this off so you can hear me but now I'm going to use it on the cool setting because now that I'm mostly dry now I really want to set this um and while still drying it but really set where I want each hair and where I really want the style to lay with a cooling feature and this will set it the compact blow dryer by Lange and that one's my favorite one because it's so light and it has all the same features as one of their bigger ones um, but it's perfect for me because I don't need a ton to blow dry my hair obviously that was extremely fast um, and I love that it has all the same features and it's perfect for traveling as well do you know when styling brushes will be back? I don't know when things will re be restocked. I know um, that they are trying to hurry as fast as possible to get everything back in stock. Okay, so right now before I go ahead and um, flat iron my hair, I'm going to use this product right here. This is called the Style Revival Dry Shampoo. This is one of my favorite products. So typically dry shampoo you would think is for only when your hair is greasy or oily or you want to kind of refresh your hair because it's dirty. It's not always true. You can actually use the dry shampoos by Lange as a texturizer and a volumizer. So if you have thin, flat hair, this is another really great product to get that really gorgeous, um, textured, voluminous, um, kind of oomph to your hair. So what I like to do, obviously you're gonna shake it, is I like to spray this on my flattest areas, which are usually just here, here, and then here, make the main root, and then I might kind of take it through there as well. Now I'm going to massage this in to those areas, and this is gonna help with a ton of volume to my hair. 
Oh. <laughs> so this is also really good for texture and it's going to help to hold my curls. So if your hair is really fine, like I said before, and you have a hard time with getting your curls to stay, you can also kind of move this through the shaft and the ends of your hair and it will also help to hold your hair into place. Thank you. My eyeshadow is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Ornate by Unique, which my website for all of the makeup I'm wearing is rayahopebeauty.com. So my name, Raya Hope, R-A-Y-A. H-O-P-E and beauty.com. I'm growing my hair out a little bit, but it's almost there. I want to even out my sides, so I want them to be the same length, and I kind of want it to be like more of a textured bob. So kind of just like another like two inches and I'm there. But I'll always have short hair and I love cutting my hair all off and growing it back out. Especially with Lange's products, it makes it easy to kind of style and have fun with it as you go. Okay, so now we're ready for the Lareve. So I'm gonna use it on the temperature 320. This is a titanium flat iron. It has a heat distributor down the center, so it distributes the heat evenly, so it's not frying your hair. Um, has a 360 swivel cord, has the temperature control here. Has the up and down, obviously the off button. Heats up extremely, it's, we're already at 250. <laughs> and I turned it on five seconds ago. So it heats up extremely fast. Um, and I love this too, because if you forget to turn it off, it turns off automatically after I think an hour. So if you're forgetful, this is the flat iron for you. And like I said, it is on sale. You're gonna save $100, $100. And I have the pretty pink one, um, but there's also the white and the black if you're not into pink. All right, so first thing first, I'm just gonna kind of run this through my hair a little bit get that volume going and then we're going to curl I like to kind of focus on this back portion because I'm one of those people that the back of my head all of the hair kind of separates and you can see like the knot in the back um, so I like to kind of create this like little fake voluminous bump back here which will kind of hide that and give me that really nice volume look so I always kind of focus on that area and then I'm gonna get my, there it is, I'm gonna get my hair clamp, clamp, and now that my hair is getting longer, I've been liking to piecing out my hair to throw curls in it by section, but I don't always, just kind of what mood I'm in, and I'm going to curl away from my face for the most part. Oh my gosh, you guys, my hair feels so soft. Look at these curls though, it's so fast. And I love that it glides through your hair. It doesn't pull it, doesn't tug it, doesn't pull it out. It's so seamless, it's so soft. So silky. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of, like I mentioned, throw these curls in. I'm not going to be too hard on this side because I usually tuck it behind my ear, but I still want it to look voluminous and look like it kind of flows with the rest of my hair. So I'm going to throw those curls in every which way. Thank you. So we're over here. It's called monkey set. That's funny. Well, that's what I do to prevent that pa page. I think I said that. Yeah, page. Um, to kind of create that bump in the back. All right, so as you see, I'm working in one inch sections. So I'm taking each section and see how I'm running my fingers through it. So the reason that I do that is because you want your hair to be moving all in the same direction. You don't want it to be crinkled or crunched and then apply the heat to it. That's when you're gonna cause breakage and that's when you're gonna see uh, frizzled fried ends. So it's not, has nothing to do with what tool you're using. It's the technique in which you're using. So always keep in mind, make sure all of that hair is going the same direction. So you can even use a brush to do this. Um, if your hair gets really frizzy or you're seeing a lot of breakage, you can use a brush to comb through those pieces before applying heat. Um, but you can kind of play around with it and see what like you need. So now that we have pretty much that side curled, which again, like I said, I'm not going to be too much of a stickler on that side because I usually tuck up behind my ear. And I want all these pieces to move backward. So I curl back. All right, so for the back of my hair, I just kind of use my fingers and kind of just piece little sections out. And 
and then pull downward, just like that. And we'll work more on the back in a minute, but we're gonna do this side. I usually like to do the sides and then the back. All right, I'm gonna pin this side up and these are from Lange as well. So if you've been looking for a really good clamp, this is amazing. If you guys need any recommendations on makeup or if you're wanting the details on my makeup look, just message me here on Facebook. I'd be so happy to help you. My makeup look though, my eyes are the liquid eyeshadow by Unique, so reahopebeauty.com, and it's in the shade Ornate. Hello from Phoenix. Oh, nice, how exciting. Okay, so now I'm gonna work from the back to the front. And again, like I said before, taking these one inch sections like so. Something you can also do if your hair is really hard to curl is when you're doing this, once you get that curl, you can spray it with your hairspray as you go. That'll also help to hold the curl. So I know there's a lot of people out there who you do this, you're like, I'm doing the exact same thing and my curls literally fall out. Um, so dry shampoo is gonna be your best friend and then spraying your hair as you go. And then as you're doing these curls, kind of push them up, give them a little bit of help. Will help. Just for makeup, yay, so I'm gonna uh, I just saw my denim blue color. Ooh, really? I didn't know that they had a blue. It's news to me. So yeah, it must be new. I would definitely grab that. That's cool. Lange also did just come out with a new hot tool called the Laduo. If that's still available, I would definitely snag that. It looks so cool. It's a flat iron and curling iron in one, and it has a clamp. It's actually the first one that Lange has ever had that's not a wand for curling. It looks pretty cool to me. To me, I ordered mine. I'm waiting for mine to get here. Nice. Thank you. Yes, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want some good kitty spam. We just got a new kitten. She is so cute. Her name is Clover. And she is a mix. We adopted her. And I think she has Maine Coon and Bangle in her. So we're in for a wild ride. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate you. All right, so now that I've done that to layer, move up one. And if you've ever had a hard time curling your hair, highly recommend to try it with the Lorev. I have never experienced an easier time curling my hair than with this flat iron. And like I said, it's on sale right now for $100 of savings, 100. It's crazy, I can't believe how much it's discounted. It's honestly worth the price. $179 is what it normally costs. Totally worth the price. Remember when I first tried this? I threw my chi away. I was like, I do not need this one anymore. This one put it to shame. It was so good. It is so good. And I've had this flat iron for two and a half years and it works as good as the day I bought it. It's amazing. I love, love understatement, this flat iron. And I love that it's so sleek that it gives you these really gorgeous curls every time. So on these little front parts, I just kind of move, I try to move as quick as possible because they're so thin that I don't want to apply a ton of heat there. All right, I'm going to move up one more section. And then we'll kind of fine tune it. don't know if they ship to the Netherlands, but you can check out the website, which is pinned right there in the comments to see. Um, so again, if you want to try this brand, um, that piece did not work. Sometimes happens, totally normal. So what I do, obviously, I see what I'm doing, is I, you want to disperse the heat out of it. And then don't go back into that same piece, let it cool completely. And the reason that that curl didn't work which again, I'm not saying I'm perfect or I'm a crazy professional over here. I'm just human showing you what works for me and showing you my favorite flat iron. But what typically will happen if something like that happens to you, if you put in the curl and it literally does not curl, your hair could be too thin. Um, I'm sorry, your hair could be too thick of section. So you wanna thin it out. So see how that one went a little bit better? I thinned that piece out. So that could be it as well. You can also apply, um, like I said, some dry shampoo in that area. Thank you, message me and I can give you the regimen that I've been using from Lange to grow my hair. 
my hair used to be this short in November. What was it? I think it was like November, December. So in less than six months, I've grown my hair out into a bob. <laughs> a healthy bob too. My, I went to my stylist the other day and she was like, holy crap, what are you using on your hair? <laughs> it's so healthy for being platinum blonde, which if you're not aware, to get this color, you have to bleach it. You have to take out all of the proteins out of your hair. So it's actually very rare for someone to have this hair color and for it to be healthy. Normally it's fried and dead. <laughs> so for me to say that my hair is silky soft, look at that. Oh, it's so good. So silky soft and growing and not breaking every time I apply a flat iron to it really is a testament to the hair products. So message me if you need a recommendation on how to get your hair to grow. All right. And again, I'm moving kind of fast in those areas. Okay, so now that we're on the final, final countdown, final layer, I'll kind of take these top pieces and again, make sure the hair is all going in the same direction. Start at the bottom, twist, and then see how I'm leaving these ends out? So important to leave the ends out. If you are putting your ends in your flat iron, you are just causing your hair to basically fry. <laughs> You're causing yourself split ends. So make sure that you are leaving those ends out of your flat iron. Just like that. Oh, I love it. You guys, look at these curls. Aren't they so gorgeous? Every, every time. Just got the fight yesterday. Oh, yay. Yes, we do ship to Canada and I believe we do ship to Mexico. And I believe we ship to the UK. I'm not sure about the Neverlands though, but you can always check on the website. They also do offer after pay, which if you're unfamiliar with that, it's really cool. You can actually fill your cart and pay for it later. <laughs> it's a shopping girl's best friend. You pay in four interest-free, interest-free payments. They do not pull your credit. So there's no ding on your credit. It's amazing. So for uh, interest-free even payments and then the first payment is due upon checkout so that's the only thing that you'll owe so you basically fill your cart break it up into four payments it's very easy to use does it work easier to curl on second day hair absolutely <laughs> yes I curling on freshly washed hair you're always gonna get a little bit flatter of hair in my opinion. That grit and that leftover product from the day before always is a really big help um, for, especially if you have fine thin hair, for getting your curls to set even larger and even better. Um, but the thing that I like about Launch's products is although I'm gonna get that really nice extra texture from the next day, it doesn't leave my hair feeling or looking dirty like I have to wash it again. With these products, I can actually finally go like four days before having to wash my hair. Four solid days. And then I'm just working towards the front. Another thing too is about heat settings. If you are having a really hard time with your flat iron not curling your hair, you may need to turn up the heat setting and you also could be using the wrong plates for your hair. So titanium plates are really, really good if your hair is really hard to curl and you have a difficult time getting your hair to curl. But if your hair is really fine and is easy to curl, you could be using the ceramic one, which I believe is as low as like almost less than $40 is that flat iron, which is a really good one as well. That one's called the Appleteer. But, I am here to help you guys. So if you're unfamiliar with what products you should be using, what tools you should be using, just message me and tell me what kind of hair you have and what your goal is. Do you want to flat iron it? Do you want to curl it? Do you, what, you, what do you need help with? And I would be so happy to give you a recommendation. All right, so for these baby hairs down here, I'm trying to grow them. So I'm not going to apply any heat to them whatsoever. So that's another little snippet, little tip and trick. If you're trying to grow a piece of hair out, don't put any heat on it, even if you want to. So I'm just gonna kind of mix it through my bangs and you won't be able to really tell that I didn't do it. 
So now that we've curled our hair, and I skipped some pieces so I didn't look like Curly Sue. <laughs> so I get this like mostly kind of messy, like loose curl beachy look instead of like the Curly Sue cutesy tootsy look. And then I'm just gonna kind of use my fingers. Usually I have a little mirror that I'll look with on the back. So don't judge the back because I'm obviously not being able to see it. Now what I like to do is now that I'm like pretty much done with my whole hair, what I'll do is I'll take random pieces on the very top layer and I will recurl them tighter, which is squeezing or like making your barrel a little bit tighter on those curls. And this will give that really gorgeous kind of PC It'll look like my hair is like cr more curled than it actually is. Just like that. And then I might actually redo this one. Yeah, that's good. And there we have it. Ta-da! All right. So now for styling, and again, you guys, grab this while it's on major, major sale. Okay, so another thing that I love is the teasing comb by Lange. And this I really like for this back portion. Like I said before, I have a hard time with getting that really nice volume back there. So I'll kind of go through and tease the back. Get that nice volume. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Gentleman's Pomade. This is my favorite texturizer. And I'm gonna use about that much of it. This gives amazing texture, amazing hold, is incredible for flyaways, is incredible for kind of fine tuning and setting your style. So I'll kind of just like take it and disperse it on my fingers and then just kind of go through wherever I'm needed. So laying down any of those little baby hairs and I love it because it's not super oily, it's not heavy, it doesn't weigh down my hair and it lets me kind of fine-tune my hairstyle very last thing is now it's time to set it so it doesn't move so this is the hot to trot max hold hairspray Ooh, nice catch um maybe small but it is so mighty it gives the best hold without making your hair crunchy or heavy you guys look at that volume isn't that crazy oh my gosh i love it so like i said if you guys need any help um picking out products or if getting a recommendation on what hair products you should be using, what hot tools you should be using, definitely feel free to message me and I'd be so happy to help. I almost forgot my last product. This is Posh Hair Polish. I'm gonna take a teeny tiny bit amount and this is really good for sealing in your ends and making them not look frizzy or splitty. It's also really healthy for them. So I'll kind of just like pull at each little curl, just like that. And there we have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys over on Instagram for the rest of the day. Actually, I take it back. I will actually be live in about 10 minutes to do a live try on. Um, so definitely hang around here on Facebook to catch that. And you can turn those live notifications on in your top right hand corner. By clicking those three dots, you can turn on live notifications. And then message me if you guys need any help picking out products. And make sure that you're shopping on this link right here. As it ends in S. S-H-U-R. Also, also in the description of this tutorial, there's my link as well. So feel free to message me and I'd be so happy to help you guys. Happy shopping. Bye.